what's up what's up what's up Pisces it is Scorpion Red Tarot I am back at it again to let you know what the energies are surrounding you for the month of April thank you guys so much for coming through and showing me love make sure that y'all hit that like button all right if the video resonates and if you like the video and if you feel moved to hit the like button please make sure that you hit that like button that share and subscribe shout out to all my new subscribers what's going on hello 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 big shout out and big hugs of love to you if this video resonates and if you want to you know book a personal private reading you can do so by clicking that about tab there is a hyperlink that says scorpion reds tarot at simply book me again scorpion reds tarot at simply book me all right if the video um gives you insight and clarity and if you feel moved to give a love donation you can do so my paypal is in the description let's get into the tea all right so father god thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of pisces thank you so much for moving through our life thank you so much for clearing our space thank you so much for giving us a better place to rest our head and just be able to thrive and grow in thank you so much for moving mountains that we couldn't move and doing things that we didn't have the strength to do you know a lot of times we'd be swimming upstream and then we want to go downstream and then it just feels like we just swimming around in a circle instead of just having a straight path so sometimes you know you end up changing the terrain for us you know so I, I do appreciate uh everything that you have brought into my life and how you move things in the progression that things needed to go so thank you so much father god for giving pisces all of the strength and encouragement and the determination to still make it through you know to make it through thank you so much please give us guidance for the sign of pisces thank you so very much all right father god give me guidance for pisces April. disruption in every freaking video every time someone calling me it's an alarm going off it's something going on downstairs the kids fighting there's somebody outside beeping on horn good gracious father god please give me guidance for the sign of pisces thank you so much for april thank you so much contentment you can learn to rest in what you already have and already are. Suddenly remember, I am right here resting in God. So, Pisces, you got to learn to be content where you're at in life. You know, um, once you get comfortable with the changes that God has made in your life right now and figure out how to be comfortable in the space, in the, in the, in the space and in the place that you're at, Things will elevate from there. But at, at this current time, if you're not able to show us that you are able to be comfortable in the current state that you're at, why should anything come to you further? You understand what I'm saying? You have to show that you're content with whatever card you've been dealt right now. You know, a lot of people, do, look, shoot, I'll be dealt some, listen, trust me. I am being dealt some cards that I didn't particularly care for, but at the end of the day, I'm making the best of the situation. And at the, and, and, and I'm going to tell you to be honest, I'm particularly glad that this happened because even though I didn't see this coming and I didn't ask for this to happen to me, if this didn't happen to me, I wouldn't be sitting right here with you. I wouldn't have connected with the, I wouldn't have had, I wouldn't have what I have right now. You see what I'm saying? So a lot of things are blessings and lessons. All right. You still hung up on something. You still hung up on something. It's clearly something in the past that you want to move back to. All right. You feel like this thing in the past, it was more peace. It was peace there. You know, I, I, I feel like in the past, you felt consumed by whatever the mental thoughts it was that was surrounding and clouding your head surrounding the situation but now I feel like you realize that 
you realized how much that situation meant to you. And I feel like to where it's though that you might not have been content before because it looks like you, you left. You left. You went away. And it's like now you're trying to come back. You're trying to come back to your peace. And you want to work and you want to build and you're trying to be patient and you're trying to wait for the fruits of the king, the king of water. Yep, there you go, the king of water. There you go, right there in your own reading, Pisces. So like I said, you're still, hope, you're, you're still hung up on something in the past that you want to go back to. And something in the past that you feel like was more fulfilling. And maybe at that time you didn't feel like it was as fulfilling. But right now I, you realize that that was truly my peace. That was truly my peace. Like I moved away from I, my ship sailed. You know what I'm saying? I, at first I felt like, you know, this was a nightmare that was keeping me up all night and was stressing me to high hell. And I felt like. My ship had sailed in this situation. It was better for me to move over yonder to go somewhere else to somewhere better that I could rest my mind. And I wasn't so mentally stressed and just anxious to get the fuck away from. I felt like you were anxious to get away only to find out that you still hung up on the situation. And you really didn't move as far as you thought that you were going to go because now you want to go right back. Now you want to move right back to where you left because you realize that it ain't as stressful and it didn't bring you as much unhappiness and mental anguish and anxiety as you thought. It really is your peace because I feel like you went out there in the streets and realized that the grass wasn't greener on the other side. And you wish you would have just been content in what you already had and what you already are. You know, you wish that you would have just been content with that. And now it's just... Only thing you have to do is sit back and wait and just see if someone will kind of let you back in, you know, if, if they'll let you come and pick a fruit off of their vine, you know. It's like, is this is this fruit right, ripe enough for me to harvest yet? So it's like you're waiting. You're waiting because I feel I feel like you looking back at this at this thing that gave you the mental peace. You know, the thing that you should have been content with, the thing that you're trying to sell back to, you're looking at it and you know that you have to put in a lot of hard work for this to grow and you have to be patient and you kind of have to wait to see if it's going to flourish and grow and be what you want it to be. And, you know, it's going to take a lot of balance. It's going to take a lot of balance. A lot of damn balance and at the same time I feel like you might possibly be juggling you might be juggling two different options right now you might be juggling two different options and this is you being representative in your own reading I feel like you're juggling two different situations right here that you feel like you are uh, emotionally invested in um, and you put in a lot of time and effort in both situations. And right now, until you figure out if a certain somebody is going from your past is going to let you back in. Um, I feel like you are planting seeds in two different places. But you want to go back to what gave you mental peace. Because, you know, I feel like you're finally realizing that. You are you love what you already had. Like that's that's honestly what I'm getting. That's what I'm getting. I feel like you love what you already had. Let me get some guidance for my single Pisces. Guidance for my single Pisces. Thank you. Thank you so much. You need a detox. You do you. And then you are being shady. <laughs> Put the fucking phone down. Wow. Okay. So detox. Okay. It says drink a smoothie. Unfriend that asshole. And throw some shit out. I feel like for. The people that are single. I feel like you guys mentally go back and forth. 
about if it's worth you going back to this old situation. I feel like you really do wish that you were content and that you do find peace there. But at the same time, I feel like you truly do need to detox from whatever the situation that you're still hung up on in the past. Like you don't need to go back there. You need to plant this new seed and you need to let that grow. And get your own solid situation going for yourself. Like you need to detox. I feel like you need to de detox yourself from all old past things. And uh, you need to surround your your environment with peace. And you need to be content in what you already have and what you already are. Getting your foundation like working and getting you a house. Getting you your car. Getting your good job. If you already have that, start working on some vacations. You know, doing stuff, going out on the weekend. Doing shit that make you happy. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, don't be out there like um, drinking a whole bunch. And you know, like maybe y'all have been doing a little bit too much partying. And your spirit is trying to tell you to detox. But do you. You do you. Stop trying to change people. That shit never works. You do you. I feel like you need a detox and you need to throw some shit away from the past because it keeps you attached to something from the past. You need to detox yourself from this situation and do you. You need to put the phone down. Too much screen time is making it awkward. It's sad. Go talk to a live person. I feel like you guys spend a whole lot of time on the motherfucker phone doing like internet phone boning and that shit is making you just like fucking weird you know what i'm saying and it's saying that you are being shady for some reason you are being shady watch out shit could get ugly hmm i feel like you need to put that phone down because i feel like I feel like you are like, I need to detox myself from you and I'm about to do me. And I feel like you doing something on the internet that's shady and you need to put your motherfucking phone down and stop whatever the fuck it is you're doing. <laughs> like, that's honestly what I'm getting. Let's check out what we got to see and what we got to be for our couple Pisces. Detox. Do you put the fuck a phone down and you are being shady? Because it's like if you're going to detox yourself from this person, you're going to do you put the phone down and stop being shady towards them on the internet. Give me guidance for the couples. Just walk away. Damn. And it says, fuck your job. What? <laughs> for you guys that are in relationships. I feel like you guys are, <laughs> you guys are in a situation and it says you are giving too many fucks. So you guys that are in a relationship, Simon says just walk away. Everyone could use a little fucking break. Whatever y'all are going through in y'all relationship, um, it's not worth arguing about. You know, so I feel like this person walked away. Y'all had a little separation. And I feel like now y'all coming back because this person realizes that, you know, you are their true peace. And they'd rather plant the seed and have something grow with you than do it with somebody else. You know what I'm saying? And they're willing to try to juggle and balance and do whatever it is that they need to do. Because they love you and they're already content with what they have. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes they had to walk away to realize what it is that they really had in front of them. And I feel like y'all is just saying, fuck your job. Yes, work is important, but your partner is more important. So I feel like y'all walked away from a job, all right? Because I feel like it was getting in the way of you being able to um, really, really spend time with your family. And I feel like a lot of you guys just recently got married or y'all just recently moved into a house or some shit like that. And I feel like because of the bills... Y'all have been arguing and fighting because y'all been struggling to pay for the bills and the responsibilities in the damn house and shit like that. And one person is like working herself to death. Oh, that's why I should have picked this up and I didn't pick this up. One of you guys are working yourself to death. This one says one of you is doing too many fucking chores. One of you is doing too many chores. That person better get laid now. Yeah, I really do feel like one of you is like 
y'all's job is coming in between y'all relationship and someone is not getting laid and one of y'all is just like fuck y'all job like y'all might call out of work or y'all might like walk out or something like that and y'all like man fuck this job because i'm working so hard by the time i come home i'm so tired this says everyone could use a, a fucking break yes work is important but your partner is more important this person better get laid just walk away. Fuck your job. One of you is doing too many chores. One of y'all is working too fucking hard with y'all. Barely able to enjoy y'all new marriage, y'all new house, y'all new relationship. You know what I'm saying? You are giving too many fucks. Okay? Give zero. Alright? Wow, that was deep. Let's see what the center energy is right here. Let's see what type of unicorn energy we got for you guys. All right. All right. Please give me a unicorn spiritual guide for a Pisces. Sorry, don't let me stop. <laughs> Please give me. It says celebration, celebration and prosperity, okay? So, for my singles, I feel like a lot of prosperity is coming to you. Put the fucking phone down and stop being shady and detox yourself from whatever this negative energy is from the past that you keep going back and forth about you know what I'm saying? Because you're juggling two different things. And you need to figure out one damn situation that you want to do. And you want to focus your energy on. You need to put down one pinnacle. Don't try to juggle two different situations. Because you're looking back to the past. Waiting to see if someone's going to let you back. What do you think that the person that you're dealing with currently feels like? That ain't cool. You can't have one foot in one door. And one foot in the other door. And shit like that. Someone should slam both of the fucking doors on your foot. And <laughs> sorry, no, let me stop. Listen. For real, put the fucking phone down. If you going to do you, you do you. Detox yourself from the situation. Put the phone down and stop being shady towards the person. A gift of money is on its way to you. Your income is increasing. Manage your finances with love. Prosperity is coming to you. But if you really want it to come to you, you need to detox. You need to focus on you so that this prosperity and this abundance can come to you. But it damn sure ain't going to come to you being fucking shady. I'm going to tell you that. You're going to get the shade right back on top of you. So you better watch what you're doing and focus your energy on positivity. Celebration for my couple partners. A positive outcome is assured. Celebrate your success. Enjoy your achievements. And I'm honestly feeling like someone is going to stand up to a supervisor and a boss and going to be like, look, you know what I'm saying? I... Bust my ass at this job. Relentlessly. Relentlessly. I barely spend time with my wife. And I draw the line. When this shit is causing a conflict. With my family. And my home environment. You know. If you guys cannot respect. The fact that I need personal time. And if my children is sick. You know that y'all need to. Respect that and everything can't be on my fucking wife. That I need to find somewhere else to go. So Abby, y'all need to respect me or this is my resignation. And I feel like because y'all did that, you're going to get a response that you weren't expecting. Like I feel like some of y'all are thinking that y'all are going to have to walk out. But I feel like, you know... You don't really give any fucks anyway. Before you were giving a whole bunch of fucks, but now you're like, I don't I give zero fucks about this job. Fuck this job. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like you're gonna come home to a celebration because I feel like not only were they probably about to promote you any fucking way, but they're gonna give you some like a much needed vacation. They're gonna be like, go ahead, take two weeks off. Like, no, you're absolutely right and we're wrong. We are gonna be more cognizant of that, not just for you but for other people in this organization and I feel like they might make some policy changes like I said it's going to be a situation that you want to see that you didn't see coming but it's something that you can't avoid like you can't avoid um addressing a situation that is affecting your family do you understand what I'm saying you can't avoid uh, this because it's affecting your relationship and it's going to cause an ending and if you don't want 
this relationship to end, you're going to have to address this situation going on with your job, okay? Because it's affecting y'all's relationship to, like, emotionally move forward in the right direction. Do you get what I'm saying? And right now, you're just trying to find some balance. You're trying to find balance because you have a lot of faith and you have a lot of hope and you've been praying a lot on this situation because you really love this person and you really just wanted to get better. You're just trying to find that inner strength and it's just hard for you to find that inner strength because I really do. I feel like you have a hard time speaking up to your supervisor or like standing up to people at work. You know what I'm saying? And it just takes a lot. But at the same time, you're going to end up celebrating because you standing up for yourself is going to make... The person realized at your job, like, yeah, maybe I am taking advantage of this person. Because at the end of the day, if it's my motherfucking kids that got sick, fuck that shit. Ain't nobody going to tell me nothing. Fuck that job. And they realizing that you're like, fuck that job. And they need you. You know what I'm saying? So stand up for yourself. Stand up for your family. Don't let no job. Don't let nothing get in the way. Eight of Swords. Y'all feel imprisoned to y'all mental thoughts of this shit in the past. I feel like, you know what I'm saying? It's some shit that y'all are not trying to see, Pisces. It is some shit that y'all are not trying to see. Y'all feel imprisoned to y'all thoughts. Like you can't, you can't get over this past thing. The two of coins, you're juggling. I told you, you're juggling. <laughs> you are most definitely juggling. You're juggling two situations. Two things that you feel are valuable to you. Okay? And it's two different boats right here. You see? You are in prison to your fucking thoughts. You can't figure out which boat to get in the one that's going in this direction or the one that's going in this direction. And like I said, until you get some solid communication where you can really see where you're going or what you're doing with this thing in the past you just got your foot in one door and one foot in another door because you like one of these motherfuckers is about to give me prosperity and abundance the ten of swords you feel backstabbed and betrayed by somebody in the past okay and you are finally healing your back is all healed and everything like that and i feel like you just need to kind of mentally accept the fact that something is over you know you have a lot more options here you have a lot of options here and, you know, possibly with a Queen of Swords, with, you know, uh, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius female. Okay? You have a lot of options here. And either you're trying to cut out a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius female to go back to something from your past, um, but you're definitely confused. You know, you're confused. You are confused. You, you are a slave. You are in prison to your mental thoughts. You know, you're just, you're, you're trying to find balance. You're juggling two situations. And you know that there's an ending. You know that this shit is over. You know it's over. But you're still confused. You're still confused. Even though you got this, this queen of swords there. You have the, you, you have someone that. It's trying to show you. You have someone that's trying to show you that they can give you peace. That they can give you security. You know. This queen of swords. She's solid. You know what I'm saying. She's telling you the truth about how she feels. And everything like that. But it's just like. You were confused because you still. Feel like you have other options available to you other than this person. You have other options available to you other than this person. <laughs> and it's like you're trying to face an ending. You, you're trying to get your mind wrapped around this ending. Mm, mm, mm. I feel like y'all need to let that shit go from your page. I need to let that shit go. Because it's like... You got that many swords in your back. You feel that devastated. And. Nah. Give me guidance for the couples. In regards to matters of the heart. Strength. Strengthening bonds. Yeah y'all gonna say fuck that job. And y'all gonna focus on numero uno. My family. Me. 
he won't step into control. Singles. You are not going to be able to manifest this person back into your life. You might as well just get over it. What does it say? It's clarity be of belief. <laughs> Listen. Y'all are not going to be able to manifest this person back into your life. I feel like... Okay. Let me focus on my couples, okay? So, right now... Okay? There is uh, some strengthening in your bonding. And you finally taking control of your relationship and the things that's going on. In regards to matters of your relationship. You're not letting no outside elements control your motherfucking relationship no more. Fuck that shit. I'm taking goddamn control. I see exactly what I need to damn see, alright? I'm taking authority, okay? And in regards to my singles, you are not going to be able to manifest this person back into your life. All right, you need to have clarity. You truly believe that it is, you know, time to move on. And I feel like if you have someone, you have someone already there that you already have a prosperous environment with. Why, why, why are you still in your phone being shady to someone in your past and not really detoxing that shit and letting it go? Like, you need to have clarity in your brain. Like, you know, this person is sure that you want them, but you don't. That they want you, but you don't want them. You trying to manifest some shit from your past and planting seeds in two different soils. Like, and I feel like this person from the past ain't about to let you plant no seed in their damn soil. Like, that is not for the shit. All right. Let's get advice and love. You know, we about to get about couples. Build that attraction back. Put more time and effort into y'all relationship. Build back that attraction. And then what's something else about to pop out? Oh, singles. Y'all, my um, camera about to cut off. Y'all, so I'm trying to move fast. Singles. You know, I have nothing to say for them in love. <laughs> I feel like there's something things that you are not able to look at and be able to forgive and learn. You need to be able to look in the mirror and be able to forgive and learn from the things that actually happened in your past with this person from your past. Because this person is not your soulmate. You need to learn from the lessons from that relationship so that you can truly open up the door to your true soulmate. Do you understand, you guys? All right. One more card. Give me additional guidance and love for Pisces and then we'll get out of here. You guys, you got to be content in what you currently have and what you currently are. When you go out there and you're not content with what you already have in front of you, you might jump out of the fire. You might jump out of the pan into the fire. Yeah. This person is not really trying to take you off a of mute. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I feel like, I feel like you want someone to take you off a of mute. You want someone to take you off mute. I feel like your partner muted you out because you weren't giving them time and attention. Because of that job. For the singles, you need to get yourself balanced again. Alright? You need to forgive this person from the past. And you got to the end of spring to do it. If you want blessings to come back to you. You guys, I love you. I'm up out of here. Peace.